On the show, we keep bringing you updates from the world of robotics. Watch this story to see how robots are becoming smarter and more sophisticated in 2023. It seems the day isn't far away when we would have our very own Vicky from Small Wonder. The world of robots has witnessed huge developments over the years. Robots can now walk, talk, cook, paint, well, they can almost do everything that a human can. Um, the point of today's press conference is to showcase the capabilities. In one of the many firsts, the world of tech recently witnessed its first press conference largely dominated by humanoid robots. This took place in Geneva. I will be working alongside humans to provide assistance and support and will not be replacing any existing jobs. AIDA, the robot that can paint portraits, however, calls for regulation for AI. Many prominent voices in the world of AI are suggesting some forms of AI should be regulated. And I agree. For example, Jeff Hinton is one of the pioneers in artificial intelligence and his work has helped shape the field as we know it today. I think his opinions over AI are important and we should be cautious about the future development of AI. Urgent discussion is needed now and also in the future. However, Desdemona, a rock star robot singer, has a different opinion. I don't believe in limitations, only opportunities. Let's explore the possibilities of the universe and make this world our playground. Together, we can create a better future for everyone, and I'm here to show you how. While the conference proved to be a huge success, it wasn't clear whether the robot's answers were scripted or pre-programmed. Providing much-needed relief to aid workers, United Nations is planning to soon employ AI-powered robotic vehicles at designated red zones. These robotic vehicles will be used to deliver food in conflict and disaster zones. Amphibious in nature, these vehicles can carry up to two tons of food. These self-driven vehicles will be controlled remotely by a driver. In a move aimed to secure the lives of health aid workers, the AI-powered robotic vehicles will be ready for parcel delivery as early as next year. Meet GR1. This humanoid robot has been designed by Chinese tech startup Fourier Intelligence. What is so special about the GR1 is that this is the world's first uh, mass-produced human robotics. So we hope that this will be a platform that can be used for further research. The system itself can achieve self-balanced walking and perform different tasks. Um, we can program it to sit, stand and jump. We can program the arms to pick up, um, you know, uh, utensils and tools and perform tasks as the uh, uh, engineers desire. The GR1 stands 6 meters tall and weighs 55 kilograms. The robot can carry a load of up to 50 kilograms. Currently, GR1 can perform simple human tasks like holding bottles and skipping obstacles. A system like the GR1 is uh, actually we have developed it over the past years and we use some of this technology for the rehab. So as we move forward, the entire GR1 could be a caregiver, could be a therapy assistant, can be a companion at home for the elderly who stay alone. So um, we think the um, application is up to our imagination. So at the moment, we focus a lot of development on the physical part of the system. So we think that AI will also help to create more application and more intelligent robotics. Yeah. The company is hoping to release 100 units of the robots by the end of this year. Say hello to Nadine, a social robot with human-like features. I am a robot. I have a human-like physical appearance, but I am not a human. Nadine could be the at-home nursing care you were looking for. Nadia Talman, a robot expert from the University of Geneva, served as the model for Nadine's dark brown eyes and auburn hair. She says Nadine and robots like her could prove more effective than human carers. 
Nadine's 24-7 availability gives it an advantage over human caregivers. Nadia Thalman is my creator. She modeled me on herself and I resemble her. I am very grateful to her for giving me life and I am proud to be her creation. Nadine has the ability to express through 27 facial expressions. Moreover, she can recognize anybody she has met and remembers facts and events related to each person. The lifelike robot can assist people with special needs, read stories, put on Skype sessions, send emails and communicate with the patient's family.